Ladies and gentlemen, he has arrived. We got Godzilla minus one in Kaiju Universe. And I mean, from the picture I'm looking at right now, that boy looks absolutely dangerous. If we read a little bit about him, it says minus one Gojira has been added. Spare none of the horrors of nuclear warfare with this highly anticipated Kaiju. Highly anticipated indeed. If we go over here, you can see what it takes to get him. You need about 240,000 G cells. And you need to get the very first Gojira all the way to level 100. You see it's red right now, but we'll get him in a minute. Let's read a little bit of his description. We see it says dual increased damage as your health lowers. And it basically just says read the attack description. So I'm going to go get level 100. I'll be right back. Six and a half hours later. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Look how scary this monster looks coming at me right now. Not only does he just look like the most evil Godzilla I have ever seen. Look at those teeth, man. My boy is terrifying. We got to check the whole body out. We got Godzilla going on over here. We've got the spikes on the back. I really hope when we hit the atomic breath, they all like shoot out or something. You know, pretty much how it did from the movie. By the way, this Godzilla looks built, bro. It looks like he'd been working out for a hot minute. Let's go ahead and get back in here and see the moves. By the way, let's show the run real quick. It's not very fast, but what it is is a giant Godzilla traversing through a city. Let's go ahead and see. We've got the number one move, the, the Tsumi. I, I'm just going to say one, two, three. It was basically a punch. We've got... Wait a minute. That was number one again. And the move changed after I used it. So you can see one, two, and three. Now they're yellow, right? I think after you hit a couple times, like this right here, it does a right hand, a left hand. And now look at number three. It looks like an explosion. So we'll see that in a minute. But number one, we already know it's got a, a couple forms. So number two, if we press that... It is a giant, not a tail whip, but just a, a tail slam. But this is the actual number two move. This is the first one you get before the yellow bar goes. And it's pretty much just a tail whip. Now, number three, I got it down to white again. So we can hit that and it does a giant stomp. Okay. I kind of want to see what happens on the second form of the, there we go. So now it's like a little more yellow color, but not strictly yellow. It's like a cream color. So let's press three again. Okay, it's just the same stomp move, but maybe it does a little more damage. But then we've got the number three with it highlighted yellow, and it shows an explosion. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. Okay, so he shoots an atomic breath in the sky, and you can see to the left, we're getting healed right now. Well, you can kind of see it bouncing off my body, but you do that move if you get damaged. So now, I mean, you already know what move I've got to see. The number four move, which is the atomic breath. And look at the spikes shooting out of the body. Okay, nah, this kaiju is amazing. Oh my, look at it coming up from the ground too. What is happening, bro? Okay, hey, Godzilla minus one is insane. I think I also caught myself on fire, by the way. Does this catch people on fire? It, it literally does. So you can spray it at the ground, create like a force field in front of you, and they catch on... They catch on fire. This kaiju is crazy. What about the number five move? The Genshi, whatever. We're just going to hit number five and see what happens. It's pretty much the same thing, except this time it's just an atomic atomic breath that explodes and it heals you, dude. Yo, this kaiju is going to be overpowered in like tournaments and things like that. What about the purifying rage? This is going to be some sort of roar. He didn't do an animal. Oh, there's the animation. It was just kind of late. Look how crazy that looks. Then we've got the T-roar, which is the regenerating... I don't even know what that is. Melancholy? Whatever that is. We heal as we roar, too. He's got a lot of moves where you heal after you do something, but this move right here, after you roar, you get 15 seconds of healing. So that's actually really good. What about the V move with this kaiju? If we press V, what happens here? I just did something. Oh, okay, so it, it, that you don't even have to use the moves. If you press V, it changes the moves, I guess. At least the one, two, and three moves. Let's go ahead and see what we can do to a city. We're going to be fighting some people real soon, but we got to see what we can do to the city of Tokyo over here. It's only right. Just like in the movie, I'm going to go ahead and hit the number four move again. We are in the middle of Tokyo, and let's see. He just destroys every building in sight. And, you know, already, we got the fire layer in front of us. And just to do it, I'm going to destroy this half of Tokyo, too. R.I.P. to everybody in Tokyo right now. I love you guys. But at the same time, God's the minus one. He doesn't. Oh, and somehow I just died, too. I don't know. All right, off to fight people. And I know you might be wondering, what does this kaiju look like maxed out? Well, we have him now at level 100 already. Might be the first in the entire world. Let's go ahead and max out the damage and max out the HP. Looks like you get 5150 HP. And then the moves, especially the, the Genshi damage down here, does 2,000 damage. By the way, guys, let me know in the comments if you all have seen the Godzilla Minus One movie just yet. And while you're down there, hit that like button for me. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. 
but I appreciate you all. Now, let's see how this Godzilla does against other Kaijus. We've got the very first Godzilla in front of me. And of course, you can see a lot of people are going to be using the very first Godzilla because they're trying to get him to level 100 so they can even get this Kaiju. Look at this guy. He said, how the heck do you already have Godzilla minus one at level 100? I don't know, bro. It was magic. Here we go, though. Our first fight is going to be against our, well, our first ever Godzilla. We've got my boy, Godzilla Minus One versus Goji. And it does look like Godzilla Minus One, he just absolutely destroyed. I'm telling you guys, this Kaiju might be a little overpowered. But hey, I'm totally here for it. Let's see how much damage the Atomic Breath does. If we hit this guy right here, look, it's doing multiple 100s and then it explodes. It did, it did half of his HP and damage. That is absolutely insane. And now I've got an Ava fight me. And it does knockback damage with the tail. I just now noticed that. That's actually really good. Let's go ahead and put this firewall in front of me, by the way. Yeah, we're totally going to die. But we, we got to learn how to use this Kaiju. And when we do, he's going to be insane. What in the world is going on? We, we got a Thermal Godzilla party over here. Let's go ahead and hit that move. We're going to hit that four move and see how, how far it actually goes with the Atomic Breath. It kind of goes, like, right in front of us, creates that layer, and then, you know, look, we got Thermal Godzilla on fire right now, even though he's already fire. Not sure how that happens. But then we can hit the Atomic Breath, and after we already got half of his health down... Oh, look, this guy's helping me out. I don't want that. I didn't need your help, big fella. We are Godzilla minus one. And there we go. We have destroyed Thermal Godzilla. You do do a lot of damage to yourself, though, so you got to learn some combos before you just start throwing them out. Do you think Godzilla minus one will have what it takes to beat someone like Destroyer, though? That'll be a really important question to ask. Right now, I think, I really think he could, to be honest. If you, like I said, if you get the right combos going, because his moves do like 500, 600, and then 700. So if you get the right moves going, you get the right combos, and they do the right damage, I think you can beat anybody in this game. And would you look at that? We got Mecha G down, and we just defeated another first Goji. And then we've got this Ava over here that keeps trying to destroy me, even though he's running away. Wait a minute, I totally forgot what the three move does again. It's some sort of explosion, right? Let me see. I'm just going to charge up real quick. Okay, I'm shooting this into the air. I think I'm dead, though. Yep, I'm dead. I can tell you one thing we're going to do. We definitely need to compare this Kaiju with the rest of the Godzillas that's actually in the game. We just did a video like that yesterday, but, uh, you know, Godzilla Minus One wasn't out just yet. So we need to do it again, but actually with Godzilla Minus One. Now we actually know all of his moves. We know what's going to be going down, and here we go with Thermal Godzilla. I'm about to body this man. Now, Godzilla Minus One isn't the fastest Kaiju in the game, clearly. He's kind of slow, actually. But what he does have is a couple moves that, you know, launch forward just in case somebody's like running away from you like thermal godzilla was right here and even though i was getting jumped we still bodied thermal godzilla oh great i've got two of the first okay really all of the first godzilla's just bodied me it's all right bro i completely understand everybody's trying to get this monster right here let's check out some more details actually let me get in the sun real quick i gotta check some of the details on the back you can see the elbows he's got like the bones coming out or something like that like I said, haven't seen the movie yet, so I don't actually know how it looks in the movie. But I mean, from the game, he looks absolutely amazing. Let me know what you guys think about the appearance of him in the comments. As far as the damage he can do to a city, though, let me go ahead and press this V move real quick and get this blast out. All we got to do is press number three, and then I think this is the one that shoots in the air, right? Yep, the spikes go in the back, it shoots in the air, and then an explosion, right? Okay, never mind. It wasn't an explosion. Oh, wait, is it rain? It's raining. I did not even know it did that. I didn't see this earlier, but it rains down some of the atomic breath, I'm assuming. Or maybe it's like radiation or something. I did not know it did this. I thought it just shot up into the air. That is actually really sick. And look who has arrived once again. We've got Ava back for another battle, but this time he's getting bodied. Well, maybe not because I'm getting jumped. Look at all the Godzillas that are about to try to kill me. All right, we got to hit at least one more move. I'm dead. I'm going to need more of you guys to go ahead and get this Kaiju so that I'm not the only one getting jumped out here. Oh, hold up. This is another video we're going to be making in the future. But as you can see, we got Shin Godzilla in front of me. And we are both evil Godzillas. Let me see who looks more evil. Actually, no, we're going to save that for the other video. Right now, we're just going to battle for the moment. We're going to do a whole video comparison, though, on who is better. Shin Godzilla or Godzilla minus one. Who is the most evil Godzilla? Like I said, we're going to figure all of that out in the video we actually record with them. Right now, I'm just throwing hands and getting jumped. But at least for now, you can let me know in the comments, who do you think is more evil? Shin Godzilla or Godzilla minus one? Like I said, we'll be doing a whole video on a battle in comparison between those two kaijus. But for right now, 
Let's go ahead and see how he swims. I mean, he kind of just swims like any normal Godzilla. You know, the giant tail swinging in the water. I will say this might be one of my favorite Godzillas ever, to be honest. I mean, I love the way he looks. The only thing I don't love is that he's evil. But, you know, it's been a while since we've actually had an evil version of Godzilla that's not Shin Godzilla. So I'm actually really happy with the way this kaiju came out. Let me know how you thought of him or how you think of him currently in the comments. And what could be changed? Uh, currently, I don't think anything should be changed about him. Let me hear that roar again. The last time we didn't get it with the animation and this time we do we see the giant teeth everything and i just love the way that sounds let's do that other roar that gets my health up because i'm currently getting jumped again and yeah i'm gonna get body never mind at least i can roar while i'm getting defeated though oh uh, wait a minute well if it isn't shin godzilla and the other godzilla that was jumping me earlier let's go have now nah, don't be running away now big fella godzilla minus one versus another he's gonna run isn't he yep why would you run bro aren't you trying to get this kaiju oh no look at him <laughs> my boy mothman said uh ow all uh, right here we go we got batman versus godzilla minus one and the ava that's been jumping me this entire lobby but you know what it's okay he said batman <laughs> he said batman retires hey i do not blame you sir hey, at least I caught this Ava on fire before I was jumped by the entire lobby. My advice to you guys, if you're getting this Kaiju and, you know, you get it pretty early before a lot of other people, you, you might as well just run, bro. You're going to get jumped by the entire... Look, look at everybody coming towards me. I had this guy again coming towards me. Ava, of course. I've got Amanda behind me. Oh, he said Star Code Cappy. Shout out to that guy. And we've got a Mechagodzilla coming out of the water. All right. You know what? It's over. It is over for me. As Godzilla minus one right now. I can at least hit that move, though. I need to hit one 1v1 before I leave here, bro. I can't get jumped. I gotta see the true strength of Godzilla minus one in battle. Of course, there was nobody in prom. Uh, so me and my scary friend here, we gotta go searching. Uh-oh, I see somebody in Florida. Look at the spikes out of the water, by the way. Just seeing the spikes out of the water. What if you were in the water and saw this right here? Bro, I would lose my... I, I might pass out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm straight passing out and there's nothing I can do about... Oh, great. Here we go. We've got three of the very first Godzillas. And let me guess, I'm just gonna get absolutely pummeled. I can at least try to get one body. This guy right here has a little bit of health left, but they're both killing me, bro. One more hit, please. Come on. No, okay. They got me. I, I gotta get one body. Come on, man. Just one more body. I think I'm gonna go after this guy. Mr. Gojira that's shooting an atomic breath across the map. Hello, my friend. Oh, wait, he's running. And now I got more people over here. This is not good for me. Come on, please. Just drop off this Mecha Godzilla. He said, I'm a fan. Hey, buddy, I appreciate you. But I'm just trying to get one body before I leave. It looks like Amanda and Ava are going to take me out. Unless I can hit one more move on Amanda. I think I got him. Okay, we dropped off Amanda. That is the end of this video. Let me know what you thought about the brand new Godzilla Minus One. Me personally, I love him. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I love y'all. Goodbye. I got a new fashion.